<laughs> Finally, would you like to join me for a small drink? Actually, I drink very little, an occasional glass of wine with a meal and nothing when I'm driving. But I've been told there was a pub I really should visit. It's at Himley, a tiny little place between Dudley and Wolverhampton. So I went along for a look. even had a drink yet. <laughs> well, I don't believe this. Now, they've told me that one of these doors is straight up and down, and it's obviously the front one. But let's test it. How do you test a door? You stand up against it with your feet against the back thing, and you fall over. Crazy. Okay, then it must be this one. But it can't be, it doesn't look anything like it. Let me take out my Captain Queeg K Mutiny ball bearing. Put it down. And it stays there. And I still don't believe it. This is very strange. This goes downhill, so if I put the ball bearing in here, it will roll downhill, but it doesn't, it sits there. So we take the ball bearing and we put it down here. And it rolls uphill, which is downhill. Right, I'm sick of guessing, so which way is it going to roll now? Take bets. Here we go. Fine, it goes this way. We will double check with the ball bearing. I need a strong drink. Orange, please. Apparently the reason for all this lunacy goes back 200 years to when Sir Stephen Glynn owned the land and the coal mines underneath it. The mine actually stopped halfway along the house, so only the front part subsided. The back actually stands on solid ground. Thirty years ago it was condemned as unsafe, but a local brewery stepped in, shored it up, and saved it for posterity. When people come here, like myself, do they have trouble believing what they're seeing? Oh, all the time. Um, we, we do get people coming in of, um, they've got vertigo. As soon as, as soon as they come to come in the door, and they see that door in front of them. They just go all dizzy, and they've got to go out and sit outside. There's no way they can come into the pub. I thought I was alone, because I felt seasick. Well, we had a lady this morning, actually, stepped out of the bar and fell flat on her face. Awful. Mm -hmm. People come from all over the world to Himley to see this, don't they? Oh, yeah, you know, from America, Australia. Uh, we've, we've had Russians in, Japanese, Chinese. You know, we've had them down. And oh. even more so. Uh, in a couple of months' time, it's, it's, it's been uh, totally redone. Was this always a pub? No, originally, when it was built, uh, in about 1758, or it might be a bit before, it was actually a farmhouse. Uh, this is sold um, sandwiches and food to the miners who were mining locally in the area. And then gradually, as time went on, they started selling bottled beers, beers to take home. And slowly from that, it developed into a pub. So this is all because of the mining. It had nothing to do with the fact that it was designed by the guy who designed the Leaning Tower of Pisa. No. <laughs> nothing like that at all. I don't think so. Well, after all this, Gary, I need something a darn sight stronger than orange juice. You got any pineapple? I think I'll treat you to one. Yeah.